Welcome to today's TC Recruitment Webinar on how to run a successful business, or as we say here at Travel Counselors, how to become a super seller. My name is Veronica and you can email us today throughout the broadcast on webinar at travelcounselors.com.au. We're going to start off the show with Crystal interviewing some of our newest recruits who've just been through super seller training here at head office. And then I'm going to talk to Nadine, one of our most successful travel counsellors who's been with us for over five years and now runs one of Australia's and indeed the world's most successful travel counsellors franchises. Today I'm joined by Payal who has just completed her first six months with travel counsellors and today she has graduated from the super seller training. So you joined us today for the super seller training. How do you think the super seller training has helped you? It makes things a lot easier than obviously my first day. Um, doing the similar style training mm -hmm. but having I guess that seeing it a second time makes so much more sense because mm. the first time you just kind of come and hear too much information yeah. and then yeah the second time it kind of just clicks mm. and now yeah I've got a lot of things to go and think about. Excellent. So during your training did you have any light bulb moments and are there any elements that you want to put into play as soon as you get home? I've had so many light bulb moments because this time it made so much more sense to me. Um, one of the main ones would be um, Chris was talking about margins mm -hmm. and um, she mentioned that, you know, even increasing your margins by 1%, mm -hmm. talking about margins, mm -hmm. and um, she mentioned that, you know, even increasing your margins by 1%, mm -hmm will add an extra two to three thousand in your pocket immediately in your first year um, and it works out to be sometimes two or three dollars you know in the clients um, sales that they won't even notice but it's such a huge um, it's something so rewarding at the end mm. so that's something I'll probably do straight away and do you have any goals in place that will help you achieve your personal targets or your personal goals in the next 12 months well, I've been using the goals sheet mm -hmm. that we have in our dashboard, um, but after the super self training, I realised that these goals I'd set were in my first week or two, which didn't make a lot of sense. So mm -hmm. now that I looked at them, I thought they didn't make sense on why I would have, I think I just filled them in for the sake of it mm -hmm. at the time. And now that I've been in six months, I have a better understanding. So I've asked Chris to actually reset my goals right. so I can set them again. And this time, at least I understand why I did it. So at the end of today, you would have completed your super seller training. How do you feel leaving the head office today? I feel probably so, twice as confident, um, especially because I had all these ideas and I think sitting down with everyone in the head office mm -hmm. and putting them all down on paper and making it come alive in mm -hmm. a sense, um, I think I really needed it mm -hmm. because I guess, you know, in the gap of the six months, you kind of almost need a refresher and I think that everyone needs to get out here to do the super seller training it just gives you a bit more memento and driving your business forward so it's six months since you joined how do you feel about travel counselors and do you think that you have made the right decision I 100% like have no regrets especially because I didn't really know what to expect mm -hmm. and I had heard about all the support systems in place and now that I'm in it, it's like if I have an IT issue, I have someone to call and even if it's after hours, I get a text back, you know, giving me advice. Um, I'm not strong in marketing at all. Mm -hmm. um, and that was probably my biggest fear because I know that I had to get out there and do my own marketing. But it's not scary at all because someone is putting the flies together for me and doing all the research and I just need to click a button and promote it. Thanks for that, Crystal, and it's always great to hear from our newest recruits. Now, I'm sitting here with Nadine, who is one of our most successful travel counsellors, who's been with us for just over five years and runs her franchise out of Cairns. Thanks for joining us, Nadine. Um, so, Nadine, when do you have to be proactive? I think that if you wish to succeed really 
at anything in life. You have to be consistently proactive. Um, how you apply that every day, I think, just depends on the situations at hand and and what you might want to achieve in any set period. So there are times when I'm probably quite consistently proactive in in reaching out and ensuring that I've got updated email contacts or, um, you know, if it's getting close to people heading off, then I'm quite proactive in making sure that they've set up enough meeting times with me to ensure that they've got enough comfortable time to go through things together. Yeah. When it comes to growing your business, I think being proactive is just something that you have to do every single day. I don't think being proactive is something in terms of growing your business that you should ever really switch off from. So I would say every day. Um, it doesn't have to be hours every day, but just have that in the back of your mind every single moment of every day. How do you convince your clients and customers to take your recommendations? I think that's where... Um, I think that comes from possibly a fairly strong and confident self-belief that when you are talking to someone about what options you're going to present, you don't present them with a myriad of choices. You really have already narrowed it down to one or two that you know are going to work for them. And if they do have any queries about it, you really just need to, I think, follow through on your reasons for choosing those two hotels. And I think if you approach it confidently and you approach it in such a way that doesn't really plant any seeds of doubt in their mind, they, they're they going to follow your recommendations. They've come to you for that experience and that value and I think your confidence in providing them an option is is then accepted as yeah. being what they've come for anyway. Yeah. So you know your stuff and that's why you're yeah, providing think, service to exactly. them. So that's why, and, yeah. and that's why when you know it comes to in that very first moment of meeting with them and, and establishing the relationship, one of the very first things we should be covering off is, is pointing out that it is your experience and it is your knowledge that they're going to be not just paying for but also receiving 24-7 from the moment that they first met you until, you know, until the time they come home and then for any further and subsequent holidays. How do you go about getting your customers, Nadine, and, and generating new business? It's actually really quite easy, I think. Okay, um, yeah. I mean, it, I say that with, with obviously a lot of years experience too but to be honest our clients are our most powerful ally and I think if you give great value and you don't undermine you don't undermine yourself and your experience by trying to compete with online booking agents or or different uh, companies out there then I think you end up selling yourself and the relationship that you have with people and then those people take those relationships and they'll talk to everybody about it and it'll be then that you're referred to you know you'll, you'll get those referrals from people who genuinely love you and love what you do and there won't be any mention of price or competitiveness or anything like that it'll just be a, a very simple yeah you need to talk to Nadine because she's the best she's going to be there for you no matter what and 90 probably 90 percent I would say of my new clients are always through referrals, referrals. Yeah, through your outstanding customer service no doubt yeah and I mean attention to detail and I suppose I think the passion that I have for I mean I love my clients I love that they can call me if they if they need to and even if it is two o'clock in the morning it's it's reassuring to to know for me that they know I'm there yeah. and that I can be there for them you yeah. know I think traveling can be quite um, disconcerting sometimes for people if they've never really traveled much or when things do go wrong or you need to get home and knowing that I can be there for them in that is you know I take great pride in that and I think that's something that my clients always feel okay. and I think that helps to to then get those referrals and yeah great um, what motivates you well that's a hard question um, actually no it's not that difficult Happiness and joy, really. Um, life is too short and too precious to, I think, waste a single moment doing something that doesn't make you happy. And it makes me happy to be able to share my wisdom and experience of travel with people. It makes me happy to know that for the clients, the corporates that I have, that they are in good and safe hands and will get to and from work as safe as and as quick as I can make it. Um, obviously, I think, too, to a degree, whilst I'm not really motivated by money as such, the financial security I think that, that comes from um, succeeding in a franchise of your own and being responsible for that 
um, definitely is also motivational. It, it, it gives you that momentum at times when, when maybe not such great things are happening in the world, but, but you're still in control of how to moderate and, and mediate the most positive outcome for yourself and your family given any situation so yeah great um and last question what is your best tip to succeed what's your secret to success love what you do and believe in what you do and believe you can achieve it and i think you will that's different for everybody you what what takes what it takes to to yeah. get you there but i think if you have those two things it, you'll succeed in at whatever level you've decided you want yeah okay yeah great advice great advice mm -hmm. thank you so much that's Nadine. all right no worries good luck okay. <laughs> thanks um thanks so much for coming in um nadine and sharing your story we really appreciate it um and i'm sure that um those watching at home um will be um yeah very much enjoy your words of wisdom um oh, and i guess the simple things that really do make the difference thank Definitely. you anytime so thanks for joining us today and we hope that you've learned a little bit about how to run a successful business and how our travel counsellors model can help you to do that. So once again, you can still contact us on webinar at travelcounsellors.com.au. Um, we'll be available for probably the next 15 or 20 minutes. But at any point, please feel free to contact either Crystal or myself or anyone at head office if you'd like some further information. So thanks again for joining us today and we hope to speak to you soon.